Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Now, the next topic is floriculture. Floriculture. That's taken from two words. Flory, from flower. And then culture, from cultivation. So, flowers are ornamental crops. Ornamental means beautification. Now, floriculture is the science and art of producing and managing ornamental plants, such as trees, shrubs, and flowers. The science and art of production and management of ornamental plants, which include trees, shrubs, as well as uh, flowers. Now, what are the importance um, The importance of ornamental plants or flowers. The person who grows and sells flowers are called florists. The person who grows and sells flowers are called florists. Uh, florists could be seen in major cities in Nigeria, as in Lagos. We have them in the Keja, we have them in Suleri, we have them in VI, we have them all the major rules, by side of the rules in uh, Lagos. Good. Importance of flowers. Number one, source of employment or income to people. Source of employment or income to people. I just told you we have the, flora, the florist who cultivates and maintains flowers and they sell the flowers so they make their living. And the people even help them to sell it, also make huge money from uh, ornamental plants. Another importance of flower is expression of love. Expression of love. In different parts of the world, flower is used as symbol of love during wedding or during courtship. In India, even in Nigeria, people give flower to friends, natural flower to friends that they love, especially between two opposite sexes. Okay, flower is also used for decoration. Flower is used for decoration. You see people, after they have made the cake, they put flower on top. You see people, after they have uh, uh, made their, uh, uh, maybe shops, they put flower, plant flower around it to decorate the place, to make the place look gorgeous, to make the place look beautiful. So flower is used for decoration. For fencing, a lot of people, instead of using barbed wire, instead of um, using uh, uh, maybe one strong iron metal, they plant flower as a fence around about their houses. So flower could be used for fencing of compounds. Then sort of as um, for visual screening, for visual screening. A lot of people to remain private in their homes, they plant flowers across their windows so people cannot easily see through the window where they are passing. So they use for visual screening. Another one is source of compost materials. Source of compost materials. When preparing a uh, compost manure, some leaves, some some leaves and stems of a uh, flower can be used as compost material. Will be put inside the pit, you know, of the compost material. Now, source of medicinal herbs. We have known that there are some flowers that have medicinal values, so they are used in preparation of medicinal herbs. Flowers, some flowers are used as food. Some flowers are used as food. Some flowers are very beautiful and are edible. Now we have flowers serving as nitrogen fixation. Flowers serving as nitrogen fixation. There are some flowers that are capable of trapping atmospheric, atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. Then flower also improves soil fertility. It improves soil fertility. Some of the leaves that are dropped from flowers upon touching the ground can decay and hard manure to the soil for teaching and learning purposes. For teaching and learning purposes. A lot of schools, especially in biology practicals, they use flowers to study and to learn. There's a different types of flower and floral parts, especially hibiscus flower, are used in schools for teaching as teaching aids and also for learning purposes. Provision of shade. Provision of shade. That's some uh, ornamental trees that are planted as shades 
maybe in the public places, maybe in schools, maybe even in around the hospitals, around the uh, uh, homes. People plant trees, all these uh, flowery trees, ornamental trees, as shade. Sense of source of windbreak. The ornamental trees, the flowery trees, serve as windbreak to prevent the diversity impact of uh, uh, winds uh, in, the, in the homes. The direction of movement of people, direction of movement of people. In public places, some flowers are planted in a way that will create a path to direct people from one department to another. They plant the flowers on both sides and it creates a path that people can follow from one office to another. It's also used for beautification of the environment. That's spoken already. We also use flour for preparation of dyes. Dyes, you know, with which we dye our clothes. Um, we get the solution for dye from flowers. The petals or the kelis of these flowers are kind of extracted and mixed with water and pressed and they get different color with which we can dye our clothes. Then, um, source of tourist centers. Source of tourist centers. There are some places where these flowers are beautifully planted and people go for sad scene. People go pay money and they go and see how beautiful the flower is made. We also use flower for landscaping. For landscaping, we can use the flower to write words. We can use it to design symbols for landscaping. It can be used to, 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 to denote a thing. From afar, the flower will be seen to have written a figure or certain uh, um, words which are very beautifully carved out. Then, source of revenue to government. Government also make money uh, in the, from the flower by selling portion of land or renting out portion of land to the tourists and uh, also by collecting um, um, some uh, money as permission for people to practice uh, um, cultivation of flower in the country. Okay, now let's look at examples of um, ornamental flowers, shrubs, and trees. Now let's look at examples of flowers, ornamental flowers. Ornamental flowers are the young plants that come up beautifully as flowers. Examples are canna lily, canna lily, morning glory, morning glory, water lettuce, we have crotillaria, sunflower, marigold, comelina, cretoria, passion flower, and glue leosa. I think again, we have canna lily, we have morning glory, we have water lettuce, we have crotillaria, crotillaria we have sunflower, we have marigold, we have comelina, clitoria, passion flower, and glue leosa. Now, apart from ornamental flower, we also have ornamental shrubs and ornamental uh, trees. Examples of ornamental shrubs include hibiscus, cauliflower, halamander, white rose. Where examples of ornamental trees include halmond. If I would call it Indian halmond. Indian. Indian almond, comma, delonis, flame of the forest, as well as balsam. Balsam. Okay, good. How do we cultivate ornamental trees and flowers? How do we plant them? How do we cultivate them? To cultivate them, the first thing you do is you select the site where you have to establish your flower. We call it site selection. The place you are going to select must be a very fertile soil that is well drained of water, that is, that is, that is not uh, waterlogged. You must not use a waterlogged soil to cultivate a flower. Flower must not be seen dirty, you know, must not be seen uh, in a very uh, unfit way. So the place, the soil must be dry, must be well drained, and must be very fertile. Then you can lose the soil. Lose the soil, you can also prepare a bed for the flower, flower bed. If it's a small, small uh, flowers of small plants, you can create a bed for it. Okay? Now, I bought planting materials. What do we plant? What do we plant to make flowers? We go to an existing flower and we cut part of the flower and we plant it. It grows. Go to an existing flower, cut part of the flower, and plant it. What are things do we plant? We can plant the stem. We cut the stem. We can plant the roots of some. We can plant the stolon of some. Then we can plant the leaves of some. Especially if it is brophyllium, brophyllium or begonia, we plant the leaves. 
But from other plants like hibiscus, like the lonis, you can plant the stem, you can plant the roots. Okay. After you are planted, you the the how do you go about with planting it? You can plant it in different ways. Number one, you can use nursery bed. You create a bed and then you you plant those plant materials on the bed. What is a bed? A bed is soil that is collected, that is made together to be higher than the level of the land. Soil collected and made higher than the level of the land. That's called bed. It can be used for nursery, it can also be used for flower. Okay? When you have your flower bed, you can plant the flower there. Then you can also plant the flower in a pot. Each flower part stand is planted in a pot. The pot will contain soil that is well that is well drained and fertile. Then you plant it each flower in a pot. You can also use nylon bag or polythene bag. You have small, small polythene bag that you plant the flower. Each flower will stay in a polythene bag. This is common in Lagos. Most florists in Lagos use black polythene bags where they put sand, fertile soil, and then they plant their, their uh, flower inside. Apart from nylon bag, you can do direct sowing. Direct sowing is when you plant the thing directly to the farmland without going through any of this nursery bed or pot of nylon. Good. Now, uh, what are the things you do to maintain your flower after you have planted them? How do you maintain them? So that, okay, before that, we also have provision of shade. After you have planted them, you provide shade. Shade can be provided by palm fronts. You go and cut palm fronts and put on top, or you form a canopy and raise it up and put on top because they must not be scorched by sunlight. Then you do, you use loamy soil organic matter, manure, to help the, the, the crops or the flower. Then you do regular watering in the morning and the evening. The flower must be watered early in the morning and late in the evening. This enables the flower to freshen up and uh, to look radiant and brilliant to people. Then regular weeding. Weeds will grow among the flower. You must go there to clear the weeds, which can be done with your cutlass, with your hoe, or with your hand. You begin to unpick those weeds, especially if the flowers are very tender. Good. Now, what are the maintenance culture for horticultural plants and flowers? Maintenance culture. Number one, provision of shade. You must provide shade, I mentioned that, to cover the flower so that it does not get scorched and dried up by the sun. Two, regular watering. If you say that, watering must be done early in the morning and late in the evening. Three, regular weeding. The weeds among the flower must be removed, either with cutlass or with hoe or with a hand. You go and begin to pull them out. Three, fertilizer application. See, there's a, a flower that need to apply fertilizer for them to grow fast and to grow robust. Fertilizer must be applied so that they do very well. Fencing. At certain times, you've got to fence. If it's a very big um, horticultural garden, you've got to fence it around so that people do not abuse it. So people do not come and throw faces or deface the place or trample it down. Or animals come there and demolish it. So you've got to fence it around. Then, regular pruning. When you've got in your, um, if it's a tree, you can let through pruning to ornamental tree and shrubs. You cannot prune ornamental flowers. Now, pruning is the cutting away of extra branches to enable proper air flow or circulation in the tree. So when you have grown your ornamental trees, let's say, for instance, uh, Indian uh, almond or flame of the forest, which is a big tree, you got to cut the um, lower branches so that the upper ones can come out immediately. Whenever you do not do the pruning at the right time, the branches become so thick and the beauty of the flower will not be expressed. For the beauty of the flower to be expressed, irregular pruning must be done. Pruning can be done with pruning knife, pruning knife or cicatio. You can use cicatio when the trees are young, but when they have grown up, you use pruning or pruning, uh, pruning saw to cut extra branch. I've thought to pruning saw under farm tools. Should you have difficulty in recognizing it, go to farm tools. You see, pruning so and the way it functions.